Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to find out how to apply a sign test for pad sample. Okay, so sign test for single sample, we have done a video. I have left a link in the description box for the same. Kindly visit our channel to study about sign test for a single sample. Kindly share and subscribe. Here we'll quickly move on to that video, how to calculate the sign test for paired matched sample here. So first of all, we should understand what is the type of a test here. Now, it is a non-parametric test. We have done it already. Can be used to, to test either a claim involving matched pairs of sample data. So this already we have done it in the previous video. Okay, so here, there are two types here. This we have done it already, the uh, one sample sign uh, test here. So there is a link in the description. You can visit and see how it is being calculated. Now, what we are going to study in this here, pad sample sign test here. So we are going to learn uh, using an example here. I'm going to show it here. So pad match sample sign test. It is used to compare the medians of two related or we'll call it as paired population. Very important, you have to note it down. It should be related or sometimes I'll call it as paired sample here. Okay, so it is an alternative to the paired P test here that is used for parametric. Okay, so now we'll call this as non-parametric or distribution free test here. Okay, now how to take this hypothesis for this one? The hypothesis is taken very simple. The median of the difference is equal to zero. That means medians are equal. So I'll, I'll just write it as uh, in this notation here. Okay, so medians are equal. Okay, now what is the alternative hypothesis is the medians of the difference is not equal to zero. Just like this, you have to take it. According to the sum, you can change and uh, fit this hypothesis as you are uh, convenience, okay? Right, so now how to do this? 10 women are randomly selected and their weights in LBS, okay? Now, before and after they are put on a new diet or recorded. So I have, I am testing, I am just getting the weight first, okay? Then I'm giving them a diet here, okay? Weight loss in diet, I'll call it as, then I'm going to um, measure, measure their weights, weights in pounds, okay? Now the data is given below. Check whether the new diet is effective at 5% level of significance. Obviously, alpha will be 0.05 here for the 5% level of significance. The diet is useful or not, okay? So I'm going to find it. So this is the uh, weight before new diet and weight after the new diet, whether this new diet is effective or not, I'm going to find it out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, do it here. Okay, so now I'll take this as first type of data. This is the second set of data. Then I'm going to subtract it very simply. So before that, I want to write my hypothesis here. What is my hypothesis? See, this is the medians are equal. This is what is the symbol we can use it. Okay, then what is HA? That is alternate hypothesis. See here, we are going to find out the median of this first before diet is greater than uh, greater than the second one. That is what I'm going to find it out because when I want to find out whether the new um, diet is effective or not, this weight is more than this weight, I'm going to check it. So I'm going to check it in only one part. So I'll call this as one-tailed test. You have to remember this one-tailed test. Okay, so if you do not know what is one-tailed, two-tailed test, we have done a detailed video in our um, channel. Just kindly visit and see that and come back uh, to understand what's called this one-tailed and two-tailed. We'll quickly move on to the uh, solution of this particular sum here. So how to do this? See, alpha alpha will be 0 0.05. Why we are taking 0 0.05? It is given as 5% level of significance. So we are taking it as 0 0.05 here. So now how to go about this? Now find plus and minus 
by adding a new row before and after. So I'm going to I'm going to add a new row. See, already two rows are given. I'm going to add one more new row. There I'll I'm marking plus and minus by subtracting the values here. That's what is given. Okay, now how to do this? I have added this one. You can call it as the sign uh, uh, row or whatever. Uh, whatever is your convenience, you can call it. I, otherwise, you can leave it simply. Now, what I'm going to do it here, I'll take this pair data here. It is 180 minus 174 here. So when I get it, don't worry about the number here. You check the uh, sign. What is the number you will be getting it here? I'll be getting plus six here. So I'll take this plus alone, okay? And write plus alone here by subtracting this. This is what you have to do here. So plus. So now 178 minus 178 minus 181 will come for this data. So I will get a negative sign here. I'm going to put that negative sign here. Similarly, I'm doing it for 165, 157, obviously positive. Then 200, 198, obviously positive. Then 160 minus 152 also will be positive. Then 145, 150 here, uh, 145, 150 gives you the negative sign here. Then 170, 160, that gives positive. 210, 203 positive. 185, 178 positive. 155, 168 negative. So I'm going to count how many plus are there here. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, okay, plus sign is 7, and 1, 2, 3, minus sign is 3. That's what I'm going to table it here, okay? Now I'm going to count it. So now what will be my uh, n? Always the sum of plus and sum of minus here. Sometimes you may get 0. See, for example, I'm having 180 here, 180 here. Then if I subtract 0, so I'm not going to take it. If 10 values are given, 1 becomes 0, then n will be 9 only. So I have to take it. Previously, we have done the same thing in here. So now my plus sign is 7, my minus sign is 3, so my n comes around 10. So first calculate n, then move on to find out uh, the number of positive uh, values, number of negative values, whichever is a small I'm going to take it from. Okay, now smallest of the number of plus and number of minus sign. Number of plus comes around 7 here. Number of minus comes around 3 here. Smallest of these two values is 3. So my x comes around 3. So that's what I have to do it in the next one. Okay, so now I have done it. Smallest of 7 and 3. I'm going to take it as x equal to 3 here. So this is what is the smallest value. Now, this particular x, I'm going to call it as x calculated value as usual. Okay, I'm going to calculate this as x equal to 3. So then this is x calculated value. Then I'm going to find out my critical value from the table. So I'm going to have the table and find out the value for n is equal to 10 here. Why n is equal to 10? There are 10 values here. So 10, okay. So now I'm going to find out in the table, I got the value as one here. So I'll call this as x critical, okay? X critical, or I'll call it as x tab, x tabulated value also. So once this is being done, x critical is equal to 1 here. So there are two values. I got it here. x calculated value, then x critical value. I'm going to find it out. I'm going to compare these two in my next slide. Okay, so I'm going to compare it first. x calculated value is 3 here. x critical value is 1 here. I'm going to compare this. Okay, so compare them. x calculated value, x critical value. Which is the greater one? x calculated value is the greater one here. So I will write x calculated value is greater than x critical value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a conclusion. The null hypothesis is rejected because x calculated value is more. So it will be obviously rejected at 5% level of significance. Why? Because uh, they have asked us to uh, just find out in 5% level of significance. So from 100, I'm going to subtract 5. That will be my confidence here. Okay, so I'm going to write this. Okay. So now inference, what I'm going to do is we conclude with 95% confidence, where from this 95 is coming, 100 and this minus, okay, minus 5, which gives you 95% always. Okay, you have to take like that. So 
we conclude with 95% confidence that the medians are not equal. So what is the meaning of this? So the new uh, weight loss diet is not effective. That's what I'm going to conclude here. And I'm going to finish the sum. This is one of the very easiest sum for um, scientists for paired data. So if you like this video, kindly subscribe and share it to your friends. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day.